Hey, what's happening gamers? It's Kwing here, providing yet another informative video guide, walkthrough, let's play, whatever, on Batman Arkham City for the PS3, 360, and PC. If you like what you see, then by all means, please rate this video, comment, and subscribe. Though if you like Batman, rate this video anyway, don't let the Joker win. Well, on to the episode already in progress. Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Batman Arkham City. And uh, it's been a while. Actually, episodes have been on hiatus because uh, we were both getting all the Riddler trophies because you have to get all the Riddler trophies so you can do the Riddler quest. But anyway, I'm fulfilling two requests today for uh, this exciting installment of Batman. And we'll be talking about uh, Black Mask in detail. And also, uh, I will be using the Batman Beyond suit because it's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, Black Mask was a hero, or villain that was introduced in 1985, and he was just your regular uh, super criminal, so to speak. He didn't really have a vendetta against Batman or anybody else, but uh, Batman made it his mission to find out who he was, and it was during the time of Jason Todd when he was Robin and stuff, and Black Mask was kind of doing some crazy stuff, taking over Gotham. Uh, he was not a very good guy, but underneath it all, he was like, I believe, a big socialite. At least before the reboot and stuff like that in DC Comics, uh, during Zero Hour and some other stuff. But um, Batman tracked him down, found out who he was, and Black Mask became like this kind of important bad guy for a while. He was not really used to the best of his abilities back then. He was just kind of another colorful character in a mask. And he had a gang. I can't remember if they're false facers or if that's the ventriloquist gang it, it's i haven't really been up to my comics uh, lore in a very long time so I, I can't really tell you if i'm on the right track or not oh apparently it's okay babe yeah so yeah black mask bad guy and uh he was a mob person and of course in the 90s we had this whole thing with uh, nightfall and stuff and he didn't really play that big of a role. He did hire Zaz to try to kill Batman in the 90s, and that's kind of where Zaz not necessarily got his start, but he was more of a uh, regular by that point, and he was originally like a black mask goon, kind of, sort of. Or at least a hiree. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's a pretty cool um, character that they created, though. I mean, it's got a lot of depth to it, you know, him. You know, the mask made out of, uh, I wasn't even sure if that was his face before. Looks like a black skull. It's, like, really creepy looking. He's, like, He's oh encased gosh. in, like, a type of, um, fiberglass. Something that's, uh, I believe it's bulletproof. It was bulletproof in, in some of the stories. But, um, he can't take a direct shot, like, to the face. Like, if somebody yeah. were to do something. Which, actually, ironically, he did get killed, uh, that way anyway. So, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. But it makes sense that you'd have a fiberglass face if you were a socialite, you know? You wouldn't want to get scars on your face, you know, when you're out doing your mob stuff. You want to be all pretty and stuff. When you're... Pretty. pretty, <laughs> A pretty mob boss, yeah. <laughs> but that, you know, that's kind of a cool, you know, something you would never think, you know? Somebody who goes to parties and stuff is secretly really evil. Hey, guys, you know? I think we did it. He's gone. He's gone. Guess again. But yeah, I mean, I, I of course I'm a big animated series person, so I wasn't even I didn't even know Black Mask because I you know it wasn't in the animated series. So I was like, oh. yeah, he wasn't in the animated series for a reason. They Bruce Tim and company thought that he hadn't really advanced to the point where they could use him as a character. He was just kind of another person in the series that they didn't really uh, couldn't utilize him that well he wasn't that established oh, yeah. it wasn't until much much later that he became a bigger player uh, and then of course they kill him off by that point it's like um, wow what? so right as soon as he starts being established as a character he's killed off well I mean he did some horrific things to get him established as a character just like Joker for a long time Joker was just another colorful villain oh, yeah, and then wow. he did some horrible things to establish him as the villain he is most notably uh, killing jason todd paralyzing batgirl killing uh jim gordon's one of his wives uh, i wow. believe it was the second wife he killed um yeah i think i believe so but yeah well he shot her in the head while she was trying to save a bunch of babies he kidnapped 
and he threw it. He ended up catching the baby he threw at her because he figured it would be a waste for the baby to die because she wouldn't be around to hear the joke or something. I mean, so by the, you know, by the 80s and all this other stuff, characters definitely became more uh, crazed. Sadistic. Sadistic, yeah. So anyway, back to Black Mask. What he did is um, he kind of played an important role in No Man's Land and stuff, and he and uh, Scarface and the Ventriloquist and Two-Face... And, um, I believe it was the Falcones were all, like, waging war on Gotham, and he had his turf, which was the industrial area, hence, in this, uh, you know, in this game, Joker took over, uh, G uh, Roman's dock district, the, the industrial area of Gotham, where he, he, you know, kept his gun racketeering and all this other stuff. And, uh, during this game, he actually escapes Arkham City. And you see wanted posters for him in certain parts of the city, and you're like, oh, he's just, you know, he escaped. It's like, no, he didn't really escape. He, he gets kidnapped again and brought back here. And, you know, people are like, whoa, you know. But he, no, he didn't, he, he escapes again because there's the whole thing with Robin going after him in, in the sewers. And you see him inside one of the buildings that Joker didn't take over. And that's was the first episode of our Batman Arkham City uh, playthrough that we did. Where the Robin episode. Yeah, you, oh. were, you were saying to me before that you can see him at the beginning of this, the game, right? People are, like, beating him up or something. Yeah. Black Mask. yeah. Which I totally don't, don't remember, but I could watch it through again. Well, I didn't show it because oh, okay. it's kind of an Easter egg. He's off to the corner getting oh. beat up by tiger goons and stuff like that. But if I ever did a playthrough again, I would show it. But uh, I I don't know. Maybe maybe when the Wii U game comes out. Yeah, exactly. Depending on what they, they change. I mean, I'd love to play through this game again, but they really... They've got to add some more stuff. Like, I would really love to see some episodic content soon because it's been it's been a while, you know. Yes, the potential is there to add stuff, but it's just actually people actually doing it. Correct. So, yeah, people are like, you don't use enough gadgets. It's like, totally used the gadget. There you go, you used the gadget. Are you guys happy now? <laughs> And they wanted me to use more takedowns, so there you go. More takedowns. Yeah. Break my combo. Huh, okay, so where were we be about Black Mask? I was just thinking that's some outfit Batman's got. It's like so I don't know, usually it's grey or black. It's like all totally black. It's like I guess you'd definitely be able to hide in the shadows, except for that shiny belt. Well, this is the Batman Beyond. This is the future Batman. So this is the Terry McGinnis thing where you remember that whole thing in Justice League where they basically said um, Terry is Bruce Wayne's clone, but um, oh, I forgot. Amanda Waller said, oh, you're not his clone, you're his son. Because they changed up his DNA because they realized even though there were super beings, the world needed a Batman. Oh my and gosh, so that's th weird. the government created, they, they did this program where they basically oh, uh, put... Wow different DNA inside different Gothamites and eventually when it came time to create the Batman they were going to kill his parents who's ever you know the son yeah of, so they could create the Batman because with great responsibility came great tragedy oh my so gosh, but the person they got to kill Batman's parents chicken it out because it was the Phantom uh, Andrea Beaumont from Mask of the Phantasm she said this would you know tarnish who Batman is if we since they knew him they were like you know we can't do this we can't go and kill somebody like this yeah but unfortunately events turned out the father was killed anyway and he found his real father Bruce Wayne and he became Batman but it wasn't until he was in his 30s or something that he realized that he was Batman's son he just thought you know maybe some punk off the street but he was too much of a natural at it and Batman trained him to become Batman and he was the Batman of that era. So that's... Uh, DC Comics eventually incorporated the Batman Beyond into the universe, and that's where we are now, where he even has his own thing, kind of. 
in comics. I forget what Earth Center whatever he is, though. Oh. So now we can all wonder, is there Batman in you? <laughs> is there a Batman in you? I don't know. I have can no they idea. hit the end of Lord of the Rings, is there a Hobbit in you? Yes, is there is there a Is Batman? there Batman in you? Very good. Who knows? Any one of us could be related to Batman. Alright, but back to Black Mask. Right. If you don't mind. No problem. Uh by the time like well after um Cataclysm and uh some other stuff Batman and Black Mask were kinda of mortal enemies a little bit. Uh Black Mask got in trouble because he would not follow the certain established rules that Batman has in Gotham, and he was a drug dealer. Batman doesn't like when drugs end up with kids. And actually, I believe it was a Black Mask shipment of drugs that was responsible for the murders at Tim Drake's high school in the 90s wow. that Batman and uh, people were trying to prevent. Some kid went on a shooting spree and killed a bunch of kids because of drugs. And yeah, it was basically a PSA thing, but they they incorporated Black Mask into it, if I'm not mistaken. It it was almost 20 years ago, so I can't remember all the details. I'm only human. Well, that'd probably be kind of accurate since people do crazy things when they're on drugs. Yeah, but an anyway, much much later on, um, especially after Nightfall and stuff, Black Mask comes back. He did some stuff uh, to gain more control of Gotham than a lot of other people, and uh, by the time after the whole hush thing, he's uh, become a big, big kind of kind of like the penguin. How the penguin had the iceberg lounge. She became like a legit businessman on the surface, but he still ran an illegal trade. Uh, yes. So he wasn't as uh, out in the open as some of the other criminals, which you saw in the movie that he was in with um, Jason Todd under the hood with um, Black Mask in that movie. Yeah. You saw him as yeah, this big time businessman. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that now. Yep. yep, very cool. Which which happened during the hush time, but after that, his empire pretty much crumbled, and that's why we had um, some aspects of war games. And during that whole thing, Black Mask became this ruthless, ruthless dictator basically, and Batman and company had to take him down along with uh, some other mob bosses, but. Um, Stephanie Brown, who was uh, the spoiler and one of my favorite um, heroes in the 90s. Not only was she Tim Drake's girlfriend and did a lot of stuff, but she was also a really cool... She was like the Batgirl of the 90s, and she wasn't Batgirl. So she was a brand new character. And she and Tim had this whole romance thing going like uh, Dick and Barbara did from the 60s through the 80s. You know? And uh, unlike those two, they actually got together. Right. But uh, some things happened where... Tim wanted to retire, and she took on the mantle of Robin and became Batman's sidekick for a while, making her the first real legit female Robin. And uh, some stuff wow. happened. She came back. She got fired, kind of, or gave it up, and Tim became Robin again. But then on one of her first missions, a spoiler, Black Mask kidnapped her and basically just beat her to death and gave her back to Batman like in a mortal state and messed with Batman's head, and Batman lost it and nearly killed him. Black Mask got away. Um, but then you later find out that Stephanie Brown wasn't the one that died. Leslie Tompkins from the animated series switched um, the her with a dying girl that looked just like her, uh, who was... Oh and they, they fooled Batman into thinking that she really died. But, um, you know, the Bat family was all on edge after that. Tim was devastated because not only did he lose his best friend around that time but he also lost his girlfriend yeah. and uh, you know he he lost it and uh, Selena Kyle and a lot of the other Bat family were affected by it and um, she didn't really take to black mass threats though especially when he threatened Molly which is kind of like Catwoman's sister or adopted sister or whatever uh, stepsister or something like that black mask said he was gonna go after her family so she broke into his hideout where he was, put a gun to his face and said, you know, you better stop this or else. And he's like, or else what? And she blows off his jaw and kills him. <laughs> so that was the end yeah. of Black Mask. Because, you know, and Batman found out about it. He was like, you know, uh, what, what they did to Stephanie and whatever else. Um, you know, I'll let that go. But 
she actually framed the new Catwoman because she retired after she killed Black Mask and gave the mantle to a friend of hers to be Catwoman, and the police nailed that Catwoman for killing uh, Black Mask. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then after that she comes out of retirement and stuff like that, but it, it, it was just shows you the kind of person Selena is. Yeah. You know, she was like, oh yeah, I'm going to retire, you can be Catwoman. Uh, we're legit now, we're good guys. Nope. Lies. Everything, everything's for herself. Yeah. Pretty much. Everything's for herself. But weren't you saying to me before that he pretty much said, like, you have to kill me or I will yeah. stop? Yeah. Yeah, there was, there was no way around it. She had to, you know, and Batman doesn't kill, so, I mean, uh, he would have gone after more of the Bat family. He was going to do, you know, he was becoming this real sinister villain, and it was kind of a shame that DC killed him off because he had a yeah. lot of potential. But uh, they actually realized their mistake because they brought back a Black Mask character uh, when um, Dick Grayson's Batman. And uh, they make that Black Mask Jeremiah Arkham and they twist his mind even more. Mm -hmm. So he's more ruthless and um, unpredictable than the original Black Mask was. And he also has all the resources and wealth of the original Black Mask because they seized the assets of Roman. Wow. Basically. So it's kind of like they did kind of bring him back in a way. Yeah, in, in a way, but it's not him. But I, yeah. I, I kind of like Jeremiah Arkham better as Black Mask. I really do. I thought Roman was too, you know, too like a New York gangster. Like he was very, very um, not the kind of guy you want to mess with. Yeah. All right, gamers, that's going to wrap up this episode of Batman Arkham City. Join us next time as we look for Arzel or Azriel or whatever his name is as we uh, do the Watcher quest and then of course uh, we'll be doing the uh, riddler one and after that and the series will unfortunately be over so thanks so much for taking the time to watch and until we meet again gamers god bless and happy gaming see ya